Good afternoon. Well, it's afternoon here. As you can see from the chaos behind me, I'm slowly reorganizing my study. 1300 odd books have now said goodbye and I'm left with about 4200. So it's a sad time at the moment that I engage in a bit of death cleaning, getting ready for the day when I won't have to have our children do this. And you know, just like we plan for many things, I think at times we over plan for the way we do our communion services, in fact any of our services in the in the care home setting, especially in a dementia care home setting. I've learned that we don't walk in with bits of paper, we don't have agendas, we don't even know what we're going to do. We go in and where I am, I will go in, say hi, chat to the people for a bit. I will then play a piece of music and it may touch them in ways we don't expect. An unexpected one being the day I played Caramia Mine and one of the old ladies there said, you know, my husband used to come home drunk and sit me on his knee and sing me that. Before you knew it, they were all talking about their husbands and what they did when they were drunk. Not something for the faint hearted, I must admit. And we kept going through and we talked. And the t conversation turned to one of the ladies who said, I remember your son coming to my shop. And the woman said, that wasn't my son, that was my husband. What shop, said the woman. So someone told her. I used to shop there. Oh, did you? Before you knew it, four of the people in that group of about eight or nine that day were talking about living in this one patch, this one area, and knowing the shop and the people in it. And we got round to the rogues and the, the dubious characters. And that led me into talking about forgiveness and being forgiven and forgiving people in the things that they've done to you. And that led us into a sorry prayer. And having done the sorry and the God forgives you bit, we played another song. It was, hey, you get off of my cloud. We have a man in one of the care homes I visit who knows all of the Stones lyrics. So we played that and they bopped in their chairs and they talked more. And we talked about possessions actually, about getting off of my cloud. What about our cloud? What about the things we share? What about the the things that people don't share? That was quite interesting because some people apparently don't share the cake and the biscuits in a care home. But we carried on and we talked about being one. We talked about what family was. And from that we led into a really interesting moment because as we approach the communion, I talked about Jesus, death, resurrection, body and blood. And I just happened to mention the prayer of humble access with the first line saying we have this prayer and I used the first line and they all went off saying it. I was stunned. They were doing the service without bits of paper. And I learned, be flexible, don't take bits of paper, don't have ideas of what you're going to talk about. But be open to what they talk about, go where they lead. And we did, we were blessed. And then we played a hymn. We have many people who are churched, have passed or in choirs and they sing along. We broke bread and we passed around the, ch the chalice, the chop, there you go, passed around the chalice and you know it was cool because we we were church, we did church that day and every day ever since I learned that you mustn't be anything other than flexible, don't go into the expectations, don't go in with bits of paper, don't give them bits of paper, there are no letter boxes in the caves that the people who are beset by the challenges of dementia, occupy. Go in without paper, go in without plan, go in to share the love of God. You know, if you do that, by the time we get to the last bit and the blessing, 
you do something special. And one of the carers said to me, do you know, that service you did last week after lunch, they continued talking for about two or three hours. They didn't descend back into themselves. For in that we played music, we used words that they recognised, we brought in people maybe long dead or at least forgotten to them. And we made God real in their midst. So don't be rigid. Don't go in determined to do what you want. Go in determined to be Christ to them. Take his love. Take the remembrance of his, Jesus' sacrifice. And let the Spirit work in them. It's such fun. You know what? You couldn't pay to do the job we do. What a blessing. Take care, guys. Bye.